Welcome. Welcome everyone to the energy focus for the week. Come on in and join me. Come on in and join me tonight. As I set up the Instagram, set up the live. Come on in and join me. Focus the energy for the week. Take a few minutes and join me. Come on in. As we align our energy, bringing the energy in from the weekend, coming in. I'm gonna go ahead and share this out. What a great day. I'm gonna go live on Instagram too. What a great day out at the medicine wheel. Really great day to open up to all this beautiful energy as we're coming in to the very end of the spring season. Was out at the medicine wheel today up in Nashville with Lee McCormick. What a beautiful sweat lodge today. Everything was green and beautiful. We were in the Piney River, really refreshed. It is my medicine. It is my medicine. So I did it. What a big week for me. I moved. I got everything going forward. I really did. I actually did it. And as you can see, I have a new office, a new background, still trying to get the lighting going. That's that photographer and me. But I am very excited to be in my new home, to step forward. I have moved tons of energy. I really have. I've moved tons of energy. And I'm really excited that I am where I am and it's all gone through. So come on in and join me tonight. Going to get this going. Share it out if you would. Trying to share it over here on Facebook and welcome to all of you on Instagram as well. All right, I've got it in my Empowered Spirit Circle. If you're not on Facebook, in my circle, Empowered Spirit Circle, come on in and join me. We have some fun stuff. We've been doing some Akashic clearings. I'll be offering more. Find me over on Facebook and welcome to all those on Instagram. All right, here we are. So, for all those that don't know me, I'm Terry Ann Hyman. And this is the live video stream of my Empowered Spirit podcast. This is a live stream where we talk about the cosmos, where we align our energy energetically together. We look at the cards for guidance of the week, and we offer a time to just take a pause, pull all that energy in from the weekend as we go to start our new week. So how is everybody doing? We're at the very end of the spring season. We're in the season of Gemini. We've got a new moon tomorrow, so right now we're sitting that dark of the moon energy. Maybe some of that shadow stuff has come up for you. And it's time to really let it all go, stepping into that energy that we've all been working so hard on this spring, the last part of spring. And the Gemini energy really can help us to really open up, to find a little bit of playfulness. We talked about it tonight, today in the medicine wheel about wildness, about being a little bit more wild as we get ready to move into summer, about being fierce in our voice and our communication and the work that we do. And the energy of Gemini is actually a lot of that energy. Gemini energy is all about, it's like known as the researcher. It's got that duality in life, the twins, both sides. So we look a little bit of one side and like, oh, let me go look a little bit more on the other side. Then we go look a little bit more. And the beautiful thing of the high vibration of Gemini is that we don't get caught in judgment. We just keep looking and keep learning and keep opening up to all the possibilities about life. And that's the higher vibration. So that energy is around us right now. So you know this spring, we've all been working on planting seeds, starting new ideas. And now as we start to move into the last part of spring, now we can just kind of sit back, look at what's going on. That doesn't mean we don't do practical stuff, but we can be into that ease and effortlessness of our life and of all that we've been growing, we can take the judgment out, all right? How often do you find yourself in like, oh, I didn't get enough done. Oh, I'm not far enough along, right? And that's the lower vibration of Gemini. That is the lower vibration when we can't seem to get ourselves grounded, when we're kind of searching, when we feel defensive or we're unsure of who we are, that's that lower vibration. So we have a choice. We always have a choice. Which one do you resonate with? The higher vibration of, let me be just really, loving and unforgiving and open up to my communication, right? Gemini is ruled by Mercury. Mercury is at communicating. How do you communicate? One of the things we talked about in the medicine wheel tonight was, especially as we go to Mars, the new moon and setting new intentions is your power, 
Your power lies in how well you can hold your intentions. All right, how do you hold your intentions? And that's kind of the question I bring forward tonight. Are you like, kind of like, oh, I'll start a new tension and then you get all spaced out and you go somewhere else and you change your mind and you change your course when you haven't really given yourself the opportunity to hold that vibration. All right, and that's really what we're gonna focus on this week. How can you hold that vibration for you, especially as we go to set new intentions tomorrow, early in the morning, the new moon comes in, you know what I say, write them down. And how can you hold that vibration? strong without wavering out of here right without like spacing out changing it going somewhere else and i know we all do this i know i do i'm a creative mind so i'll go over in 15 different directions but the ability to come back and hold that vibration is the energy we're working with this week as we open up to this new moon in gemini so as you find yourself communicating with others as you find yourself bringing your intention forward really look at the strength and your own communication, the strength and how you hold that energy field for you. Can you hold it with confidence? Can you be really clear with your own self? And again, bringing in that fierce energy, all right, talking about it today, confirming my intentions for the work I do, being fierce, a little wildness, all right, summer's coming, that wild woman energy's coming forward. So how can you stay grounded and stay in those intentions have a little fun as we move through it, but get stuff done, all right? I know it's kind of like, what? What is she talking about? And that is some of the energy of, of Gemini, all right? It's like both sides of the story, all right? When we stay in one side only, tend to be, we don't get grounded, we don't get stuff done, we're kind of spacing out, going in all the different directions, we can get a little defensive in how we communicate with others. But when we come into that higher vibration and stay in that ability to ground, to have the knowledge we need for the work that we do, and to keep those intentions strong, that's what's key. Really putting out that intention, then don't second guess yourself, oh, it's never gonna happen, oh, it's not gonna come through, oh, I'm not gonna do this, but stay strong. See yourself, right? See yourself communicating those needs to the universe, to others, and then be strong in that vibration. That's the emphasis that we do have this week. All right, so tomorrow is the new moon. All right, that's the time of really setting those intentions, writing them down, and then that's where you focus. How can you bring those intentions forward for you? Now, we have a little playful energy coming in this week, a lot of Neptunian energy, which is like, okay, we can be a little dreamy, we can have fun, but we still can get work done. We still can be successful in the way in which we go about doing it, and that's really what we want to hold on to, all right? Monday, tomorrow is great for intentions. You'll feel that new energy. Tuesday, we have the same thing. Wednesday and Thursday is a really great day for communicating those needs, really some group work, teamwork, that kind of thing. And then as we move into the weekend, a little bit more of that social energy. Sometimes Geminis are known to be like the social butterfly, right? All over the place. Flitting with everybody, talking with everybody, communicating. And that's a really fun vibration to find yourself in. So really making sure that as you end up at the end of the week, as you move to the end of the week, that you have the time to have some fun in what you're doing, all right? And as we move into summer, not too far off, that ability to sit back, to relax, and to allow the things to come forward is gonna be coming our way. So having a little time right now to practice some of that, all right? Still get your work done, still continue planning and weeding out all that energy going forward, but taking a little bit of a different edge to it with the help of the cosmos and the help of that Gemini energy, especially that new moon. Remember, the new moon is also the sun sign, all right? Every new moon has that same sun sign, which is Gemini. So we have double that energy. So where can you find that challenge for yourself to be strong in how you communicate, to be grounded in what you do, and really bring that, that confidence forward for your own work and for your own life? That's the emphasis that we have as we move forward into this week. All right, so just find yourself thinking about that as you move forward. Where can you really project that energy, really from the inside out, align your intentions, and then let that radiate out. That's what we really want to do as we move through this week and into this great Gemini energy coming forward. We're moving to that last phase of the spring, so we really want to be open to all the things that we're growing. All right, many of us have started new projects. I know for me, I've just moved in. I have my new office going on. How do you like this? Let me know. Give me a thumbs up. How does it look? I still have a little bit of the lighting to work out. But how does it resonate for you? My brand new office, Mount Haleakala, right back here. Beautiful flowers, Mount Haleakala. That was out in Hawaii. I've got my crystals. So I'm setting up my desk, setting up my sacred space. 
Big shout out to everybody that helped me to get here this weekend. All right, it was a 12 hour move. All right, got a thumbs up. Thank you, Paul. Big help from Paul. All right, got a couple more thumbs up. Yes, it was a big move. And I do feel good and I feel inspired. I got a lot of great things coming up. Maybe you do too. And maybe you're feeling the same way. So I just send that energy out to all of you to be inspired in what it is you see for your future, to be inspired to understand the things that you can put out, that you can hold that vibration for you. Really important because it can be scary to move through changes. It really can be. I'll be honest. Sometimes there were days I didn't know if I was going to make it. But in the end, it all did. And I carry so much forward with me as I move through into this new phase of my life. All right. And you can do the same with the help of the cosmos, especially as we move into that new moon tomorrow. Big time for all of us. All right. Got a lot of energy coming forward. I'll be doing my podcast coming up about the summer. So stay tuned for that. I did not have a podcast come out this week. Just too much going on with the move. And if you haven't checked out the last podcast, do. And also, too, talking about the, the Sweat Lodge with Lee, go back and check out the episode I did with him talking about spirituality, heart recovery, his system of doing it. Great episode back in April. But I will be going forward very soon, so bear with me as we move through into this new time for myself, new intentions, and all the work coming out. So let's take a moment and ground our energy to help you find the ability to ground, especially to bring that confidence forward, to know that you can do it, to know that you can communicate and hold that vibration. So if you can, let's just take a moment, ground our energy together energetically, wherever you are, if you can, take this time, and light some spit, some sage, taking a nice deep inhale, and just exhale out. Sending that energy all the way down deep into the earth, feeling both feet flat on the floor, allowing yourself to be in alignment with Mother Earth, sitting up nice and tall, inhaling, and just exhale clear away, all from running around from the week, from the weekend, inhaling, breathing up from Mother Earth, opening up that energy field. And as you exhale, feel your energy pulling in right into your center, calling back your spirit, calling back all the energy you've scattered throughout the week, throughout the weekend, pulling it right back in. Inhaling, opening up that breath from the earth all the way in the crowns and the higher realms. Exhale, pull it all the way back down deep into the earth. Feel yourself grounding. Feel yourself focusing in, imagining your week as we open up with gratitude. Allowing ourselves to appreciate where we are right now. The end of the spring is coming around. The medicine wheel we sit in the direction of the east. Where we honor all that we've planted. The creation of our life. Where the sun rises each and every day. We anchor in all of the directions. To the east, the south, the west, and the north. Above us, below us, right into the very center. Pulling into your center. Calling in. Feeling that confidence of knowing your spirit. Take a deep inhale. So we call in your higher self, the masters, the teachers, to align our energy as we move through this week. As you inhale, feel that energy coming in. I am strong. Exhale out. I know my stuff. Feel yourself as you go to communicate, taking a moment with this energy. Inhale. I am strong. And exhale back out. I know my stuff. And again, inhale. I am strong. And exhale back out. I know my stuff. Feel that energy grounding you to the earth. I know my stuff. Feel that confidence coming in. With each breath you take, inhaling and exhaling. And again, inhaling, I am strong, I am fierce, as you exhale, I know my stuff, I am grounded. Feel that energy centering for you, setting your intention as you move through this week, knowing what is ahead, pulling all that energy in, feel it coming in closer to you, instead of being out there, feel it pulling in, to ride into that very center, empowering your spirit. And exhale, feel your feet on the earth. Bringing your awareness back, inhaling with all of this confidence and exhaling, coming back. 
Thank you, coming back. Feel yourself grounded and strong as you move through this week. As you open up to the cards, if you didn't choose one, choosing one, two, or three, using the wild unknown, go ahead and choose a card. So the card that is universal for all of us is kind of interesting. Most of us don't like it when it comes up. It is the tower card, but it was reversed. And so I do find when this card comes up reversed. All right, this is really more about the fear of change. All right, so it's not that everything's going to come crashing down when it's reversed. It's that you're fearing change. All right, and we're moving through the seasons. It shows us everything changes. Everything shifts. All right, when we don't fear it, when we can open up and go with that flow, it is so much easier. To, to be able to move through it. So as you move through this week, where are you resisting the changes in your life? That is the main question for all of us. Where are you resisting that change? And just as the seasons change, so can you. All right. So that's the emphasis for all of us. All right. Where are you fearing that resistance? Now, if you picked card number one, this is the five of pentacles. So this is kind of about the energy of scarcity in your life. And generally it's financial because of the pentacles. All right, this is about even that energy of like, I never have enough time. I don't have enough time to get my work done. That creates scarcity. And the mind can't tell the difference, whether you're being poor or, or not having food or not having money. But whenever you feel like I don't have enough of this, I didn't get enough sleep, I didn't get enough done, that's a scarcity mindset. So as you move through this week, where can you shift this energy? Look at the rose. It's like dripping over. It's like got a little bit of petal, almost like blood. So there is some healing to be done. So when you find yourself saying those kind of things, didn't get enough done, didn't have enough time, didn't get enough sleep, switch it around and honor the work that you did get done. All right. I love this. My daughter, she always teaches me, do your ch checklist, mom, check it out. And you know what? It's so true because then you can see what you did get done instead of what you didn't. All right. And that's what this card is about. All right, turn that scarcity around. Honor what you did do. Honor what you do have. Gratitude, gratitude, gratitude is how we really work with this card and really can bring that healing force forward for you. All right? All right. <clears> the <throat> second card, if you chose it, I love this card. It says sun. This is about that sun shining down on all of us. Look at that fire energy coming forward. It's beautiful. It's like, wow, right? All that fire energy coming forward. The sun is shining on your back door. Even if you think life is so hard, even if you think you can't make it, don't give up. The sun will continue to shine. Look at the beautiful birds in the corner. Look at the yellow, the flash of red right in that center. This is a major arcana. This is a great card to open up to and know the sun will continue to shine for you no matter what. All right. Hold that intention. Remember, there's power in holding that intention. The sun will continue to shine. All right. If you chose the third card, I love this, especially because I just moved so much of my mothers and not just my mothers and fathers, but all many generations through pictures and information. This is a six of cups. And this is about the roots, the generations that we bring forward to help us grow, the strength that we can rely on. This is that heart energy. This is that generational energy that can come forward for you as you make changes. All right, sixes are two, three. Sixes is about bringing that energy out into the community. A little bit of that Gemini energy and how we relate to others as well. This is what this energy is about. But most importantly, know your roots. Honor your roots. Honor where you come from. Bring those parts, the good parts forward, even some of the ones that are hard, right? Because you can change that. And as you make changes in your generational energy, you affect everybody that comes before you and behind. So a beautiful card, especially for me, I know as I look around my new home and find the things that I bring forward, the art, the work, all of that, it makes me feel rich and strong in who I am. And you can do the same. All right. So taking a little review as we move through this week, where are you fighting change? Where are you resisting to make it in your life that you could feel that is struggle? But when we open up and allow it to come forward, it flows. It just works. And that's what I offer for you. All right. Let go of the scarcity in your life. Do a little healing around that, especially any kind of financial concerns. Honor what you do have. Maybe your classes aren't filling up as much as you like. Maybe there's only three people and you want five. Honor those three. All right. Honor the money you do bring in. Honor the work that you do have. And that's going to let that rose shine for you. And you'll feel that energy come forward. All right. Let go of that scarcity. I can't get enough done. I don't have enough. Honor what you do have. And then... Remember, the sun will always shine. All right, beautiful. It's always shining on our back door. It always is. So don't give up. Even if things are tough, the sun will continue to shine. And then the third card is honoring the roots that you plant. The deeper you go, the taller you will stand. Honor that generational energy as you move forward into your life. 
So beautiful cards, especially as we come through the change of seasons, really beautiful cards for all of us to open up and know that we can shift and change. Really, really important, all right? I know for myself, I've experienced that. I know I struggled a little bit, and then it's just like, all right, if it's gonna work, it's gonna work. And guess what, it worked, yay. And I'm still working on it. All right, so take a nice deep inhale as I go and check in, seeing all those that have come forward. Hey, Michelle. Hey, Annie Joyce, Betty, you must come see my house. Yes, hi, Millie. And hey, everybody over here on Instagram. Thank you for showing up as well. So let me know if you have some questions. If you'd like me to pull a card for you, let me know. I do have some things coming up at the yoga studio. Reiki 1 and coming up on the 15th. Got my calendars all around. I see them. Yes, I have three spots left. So if you want to do the Reiki one, come do it. Great time to do it. It'll be a great tool to have for the summer. Three si three spots left. Sign up on my website, Natural Forces Studio. I think the early bird is still good. Catch it while it is. I'll also be doing a summer solstice celebration at Birmingham Yoga on the 19th, a day or two before the solstice, but we'll be putting that energy out there. Special guest Jennifer Dunbar will be joining us again, talking about good, clean food for the summer. There's lots of great energy on that night, 6 o'clock. 6 o'clock at Birmingham Yoga, 6 to 7.30. Check it out. It's on their website. And I'll actually be doing the full moon circle at Beacon Yoga on the 17th, Monday night. Beautiful full moon. Lots of intensity. We'll talk about that more as well. And that's at Beacon Yoga. So definitely check it out. You can find more on the websites or message me on any of these messages on any of these platforms. All right. So we will see. Jackie, you and I can do Reiki 1. We can. It doesn't have to be. Traditionally, it's taught in person, but there are ways to attune over the internet. So we'll talk about that as well. All right. So let's see here. Asking for cards. Let me know if you have a question you want to ask Spirit about, or we'll pull cards as well. Trying to figure out where I started. All right. Let's see here. Over on Instagram. All right. Some shiny daydreams. You will be learning Reiki 1 this week. Yay. All right. Here's a card for you. All right, justice. All right, so this is looking at both sides of the coins. All right, look at the black and white. All right, sometimes when we don't have that justice in our life, we tend to only see one side. Look how both cats are looking. Look at the sword coming in right into that center. So being sure to look at both sides, and that's a perfect card for Gemini, right? We don't have to judge it. We don't have to, like, take one side. We can open up, get a little more knowledge, open up to both sides of the coin. All right, that's a great card for coming into the Gemini season as well. All right. All right. Ray Lene, a card for you. Mother of Pentacles. All right. So this is about that nurturing energy. This is about the bringing that abundance forward. So it's great to nurture others as well in our lives too, but also nurturing yourself, being that protective, knowing that this is automatic, but that helps you to open up. It's a very grounding card for that Mother Earth, nurturing that, bringing that abundance from the earth forward for you. So where can you bring this forward as you move through this week? All right, all right, I got a thank you and a thumbs up. Let me know how that relates. All right, Michelle, how about a card for you? How is everything, my dear? Michelle, mother of wands. All right, and again, mothering energy. So this is a great card too, but this is really being protective and mothering some of those ideas that you have that you want to bring forward. All right, the snake is also transformation. Look at the reds and the oranges in this card. So as you go, like open up to that passion, that fire and desire, and really bring it forward from the inside out and nurturing and opening up to that. All right, see how that resonates for you as you move through this week. All right, Leah, ho hello and happy new moon. Pull a card. I'm feeling stuck, but the block is starting to dislodge. What should I focus on to help the process? Definitely the shift of energy, Leah. Let's see what the card says for you. All right, funny enough, the four of pentacles. So Leah, this is about holding on too tight, all right? When we hold on too tight, I mean, it looks great, right? Like, look at this card. Like, things are connecting, things are going, but we're holding too tight. When we hold on too tight, energy cannot flow. All right, so as you begin to let go, and tonight's a perfect night, let it go. Dark of the moon, tomorrow new moon. Open up, breathe a little bit. Move a little bit of money around, all right? Pentacles are our money. Move some of that energy around. Maybe you move some money around. Maybe you move some physical objects around. Something like that, especially clear up, clean up. All right, get rid of the declutter. That will help you move out of being stuck. When we hold on too tight, all right, I know that's the traditional rider weight. There's like showing like they're holding on to everything. We won't move, all right? Talked about this in the medicine wheel today. We have to continue that flow of life at all times, and that's how we do it. So move something out, get rid of something, spend something. I'm not saying lavishly, but just make a movement and energy, and that's going to help you to move it forward too. All right, Millie, how's it going? 
Here's a card for you, Millie. The lover's card. All right, I love this card. This is about just really having that devotion to loving. I always say start with yourself first. All right, sometimes it can be. In her deck, she does kind of use it as like the, the mating, that, that true love coming in. But for me, it's always first and foremost really loving yourself, really being that in that devotional energy of who you are to your divine self that will open up and attract the love that you want, all right? A really beautiful card. All the rainbow, all the colors of the rainbows are represented. See the pairs of two. So Millie, where can you find this, all right? Where can you really open up to that divine self of who you truly are to attract that love in your life, all right? All right, yay. All right, I lost some of it here. Mindy, I think you were next. Here we go. Mindy, this card is for you. It's the world, all right? This is just to remind you have all you need. And everything is always moving. So if you looked very closely in this card, you're going to see the center. You're going to see the representation of air, earth, man, fire, animals, all that represented. All right. All through this circle, all into the cosmos. And know that this wheel of like life of the world is a sacred wheel that always keeps turning for you. But you're totally supported in all that you have. Trusting and knowing. And some of that cosmic energy for you, that confidence in what you're doing. A really beautiful card as well. Let me know how that resonates for you. All right. Perfect, Leah. You've been decluttering. Good. Keep doing that. That's going to help move energy. Really, really important. All right. Let's see who else can I draw a card for. All right. Love a card. Did Jackie. How about a card? Anybody else? All right. Mares. Card for you. Big week coming up for you. I love it. You got the Ten of Pentacles. All right, I love this card, all right, because you are. Tens equal one, which is new beginning. So some completion going forward. Lots of abundance coming forward. Even if you look very deep in there, you'll see even that abundance in there. Even though it looks like nine, there's ten. And when we reduce a ten to a one, that is that new beginning. But the beautiful thing about the ten is that you take that forward with you into that new beginning. I really love this card. Look at all the rainbows. Look at the circles of life. Looking all of that abundant energy coming forward for you. Great card. I love it. All right, Lisa, card for you. Lisa, this is a strength card. I love the strength card. All right, it reminds us to really open up to who we are, to put our feet firmly in the ground. Infinite potential is there. We have the strength, yet we have the gentleness as well to be able to take that roar energy and move forward and to empower your own spirit. Really beautiful card with strength to get done what you need to do. All right, got a few thank yous. Good. All right, anybody else, let me know. All right, lots of things coming up. You're going to see me back to work. I've moved through. I've let go. I really have moved through a lot of the grieving. I will be back in my office this week. Really check it out. I have just a couple of spaces for the Reiki class, and I have a few new openings coming up as we move into the summer energy for the empowered spirit. So really, be inspired. If you need some help, I can help you do this. I can help you open up to a spiritual practice. We can make that shift and change as we move into the summer season, creating a spiritual practice for you. So powerful and so helpful. So reach out. I have some time. Get on the phone with me. We can talk about it and see if the program is right for you or what other resources that can help you move forward, especially as we move into a new season. All right, check it out. I will be back on podcasting this week. I've got so much coming forward to share. I'm so excited to be back to work in my new home. Again, very much grateful to everybody that helped me this week, getting it done, to my kids, my family, to Paul, to the movers, to everybody, and to you as well for standing by me through this time. I'm very grateful. Yes, time to move forward. New soul contract. Great, great energy for all of us, too. Got some fun energy being shaken up for the summer, so check that out on the podcast coming up this week. All right, anybody else I missed, let me know. If you were in the Akashic Clearing group, please, please, please sign up. Now, everybody signed up for readings, and I am offering those for you as well as part of my Akashic reading training. We'll be back on that this week, too. So have a great week. Look for the signs out there for you to be strong in what you do. Seek out the knowledge. Look at both sides like that Gemini energy tells us to do. Stay in the high vibration. Ground your energy. And hold that power for your intentions as you write them out starting tomorrow very early. Take a nice deep inhale. And just exhale back down. Let all this energy come in. Feel yourself centering so you can be empowered as you go out to start your week. Inhaling and exhaling. Thanks again for joining me. To your spirit, 
Have a great week. Namaste. About to start your week. Inhaling and exhaling. Thanks again for joining me. Finished. Tears.